Summer is over and fall is here. Manscaped is here to make sure your pant pumpkins don't get carved while you're getting groomed. That's right. The new Manscaped Performance Package 4.0 is here. Shaving, trimming, upkeeping your balls is hard work. Manscaped makes it easy with their Performance Package. It includes everything you need to stay fresh this fall. Lawnmower 4.0. Weed Whacker, Crop Preserver, and more. Oh, the lawnmower 4.0 is amazing, man. <laughs> I just got myself off the hook. Hold <laughs> on. It uses advanced skin-safe technology and cutting-edge ceramic blade to reduce those ball cuts. Yes, and another thing I love about their, their crop preserver, nothing is like it. It's good on the balls and the deodorant. And listen, it's just the best ball cleaner in the history of ball cleaning. Nothing like a good ball deodorant. Cause you know when you're down in, people smell and it's not clean enough. It's just the, the, whole, the whole experience is over. Uh, what are you talking about? If here? you want to get your hands on Manscaped Performance Package 4.0, go to manscaped.com now. Use code HOTBOXER for 20% off and free shipping. Yeah, and make your balls a priority this fall. Choose Manscaped. Your balls would thank you, please. And Mike sent you the cleanest balls in the history of clean balls. You are fair, but sometimes you be too... Damn, I'm... Nah, I ain't gonna say that to Mike hey, Tyson. Hey, 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 nigga, me brother. Fuck you talking. Nah, we can fight. I'm not gonna fight you. I love you. Nah, we can fight. I ain't fighting you, okay? Let's no, fight, then. Fuck you. I'm not fighting. Fuck you. Let's fight. What's up, everybody? Welcome to this episode of Hot Boxing with Mike Tyson. I'm your co-host, Triple C, a.k.a. Henry Cejudo. And I'm Mike Tyson. Tonight... We have the man of the man, brother Wale. I used to call him Whale and shit. Damn, that's <laughs> crazy. I, I got kicked out of school. I said, this nigga He the only nigga that I can't be like, damn. Like, you know, no, that's not how you nigga, say it. Nah, that's how you say it, Mike. Everybody got it fucked up. Champ, champ that's how you say it. You know what? I, I'll be all right. I wasn't good in school. I see the W, the A. I said, this nigga named Whale. And Ooh. I thought that was flock. It means I'm a big nigga, but now nah, it's Wale. I could dig it. I could dig it, nigga. That's Whale. If you say Whale, none of you other niggas can get away with it, man. Oh, yeah. Thank you oh, so much, brother. I, 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 they, they, tell me about you, brother. Me and um, sister was looking at one of your the biggest hits, man, with Chris Brown. Play it, please. I you got a whole line or just a couple of strands? A whole line? <laughs> Listen, right. You ever hear, yeah, you looking good. You ever hear NFTs? Yeah, I did, I did one. Dig, right? I sold the most NFTs, and I, I, I got 800000 for it. But it's NFTs. It's some shit I've been signing, and, they, and it pays back more and more. The more I get sold, the more I get money. Yeah, those are your, like your digital training cards, right, Mark? Yeah, I made 800000 so far. <laughs> nah. Yeah, I feel like stealing. Like, NFTs be feeling like you robbing the bank sometimes. I, yes. Listen, I don't be do like, this but, but, I but, up, I but the people, I, what money the people I think I think the people at the end of the, the other side of them that's getting them, those yeah. gonna be the ones that's gonna be laughing last. Not that we ain't gonna be laughing together, but listen, they listen, know what the fuck they're doing. If a guy like me don't listen, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. If I'm getting eight hundred thousand, imagine to the people who know what they're doing, the people who started this shit, made this well, shit. You know what's crazy, Mike? Of this. Is that shit's gonna this, turn. That shit's gonna turn into like eight million. Like even that one trading card, Mike. Because think about it, Mike. You know what I mean, like. Is it, was there, were there any Muhammad Ali uh, cards back in the day, like in boxing? Yeah, he had that. But the, the world was different then. That's your favorite boxer of all time, right? Yeah. Muhammad? No. Do you have a yeah. top? Do you have like a top five? I be liking the niggas that ain't like everybody. Like I like I love I love the I love the goats. Like, but I be liking the niggas that just be with the bullshit. Like, you know who I used to be entertained by? You probably don't like him, Prince Nassim. Yeah, yeah, Same. yeah. He Bro, he used same. to just be like, like his little. He's, shit. Oh, listen. <laughs> and then if nigga, you meet him in person, he's out of his mind. For real? Oh, his, Still, he, his ego is so big. Nigga. But I just, bro, like I'm. I'm this is like probably eighth grade, seventh grade, and I'm yeah. I'm seeing this like. What is he, uh, like I Indian mean, or something? Yeah, Middle Eastern. Like, Pakistan. Man, he would come with background dancers and he, <laughs> he'd be like, he'd be dancing in the room. I'm like, yo, I love this nigga, bro. But listen, like, but then he, when, time, when that, that car accident thing, that 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 kind of derailed his whole shit. Perna Whitaker, I think, was one of the baddest ever do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. Sweet pea. Shit. Sweet pea. Oh, oh. That's VA right there. So, Wally, so you keep, you keep up with boxing? A little bit. Yeah. A little bit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I was some shit on the uh, speed bag, but I, I let me get another go at it though. 
You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Tiger Boxing Gym over there. That's where I be when I gotta lose my weight. That's where I go. Listen, you know what the deal is? Entertainers, but we all start off entertainers and guys that become sports figures, that big dope dealers. Normally they used to live in the same building, so now the same block and stuff. And they just all make it in different directions. Yeah, you know what's crazy that you mentioned that, Mike? You did mention, check this out, uh, Wally. He, uh, Mike Tyson was born in the same hospital as Michael Jordan. Who, who else was it, Mike, that you're telling me today? Spike Lee. Spike Lee. Same, so this is in Brooklyn? Yeah, this is Cumberland Brooklyn. Hospital. I mean, Michael Jordan, Mike Tyson, that's the two niggas in the same Biggie verse, in the same joint. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And no, but there's Jordan. more, bro. It's incredible. Michael Jackson was in the same there. hospital. We born in the same hospital. Hey, y'all have, y'all should have statues hospital. in front of that motherfucker there. They don't, I don't think <laughs> nah, they, I don't think nah, they nah, have that, that'd be moves. a good idea for Mike Tyson and Michael Jordan to have statues in front of the hospital they was born. That should be a thing. Ooh. The most like litest nigga from any like hot, that was born at a yeah, certain hospital. Talking, they so should, fly. They should have that. That's like that maybe weed, like little nigga, that's that weed, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> make mother think. You know what high means? Nah, I just be I'm burnt out. I just be lunching. No, like, I, I just, found I just, out. I found out high means high is a form of thinking. Nah. Yeah. So that's so why I you smoke this. You get the highest lay, form of thinking. Lay. Well, okay, lay. Like, nah, because you got it's it's not well, lay. It's not, I don't care, I care but not What's really. What's it mean? I, it's, no, I it's, what it's, does it mean, brother? Well, there's a lot of different interpretations, but it's uh my my the king returns or the return of the king or my king comes home. Like a lot of little derivatives. I said that uh, with like for the past, the return of the king. Yeah, you should have just been like Wale then. It should a new new name, like just one word. And yeah, they Wale. Did before you came on Wale. Well, Wale, tell us a little bit about your story, man. Your upbringing. Obviously, your parents are from uh, Nigeria, right? Do you see any civil war? Yeah. Um, my parents from Nigeria. They met at uh, University of District of Columbia. I like guess my my memory, my, like you know, Nigerian parents don't really tell you like. It's not like I'm an American household. They're like, this is how we met. And this is where your father took me on the first day. I don't know none of that shit. <laughs> yeah. I just know UDC had my brother, had me. We lived in DC for a little bit. Then moved to uh, Blazonburg. Then we moved to Rockville. And then we moved to Largo. I so, got arrested in Rockville. Oh, yeah. The boys in Brown. They don't even get Montgomery County Police. Well, they, I don't know now, but back then they had Brown Jones. I don't know if it's still. I don't remember. I used guy. I'm in that fucking. What's the name of the lock up there? Uh, shit. The one I, I forgot the name. I was, name. Jones, I was the juvenile niggas. Oh, you did juvenile time? No, I was in this program. Um, I know a lot about your story. Like, you know what I'm saying? I met Muhammad Ali being in a uh, they, they, they thought, first of all, all right, well, as a kid, they put me in a special ed program because I couldn't pay attention. And then the way I tell you, I'm in a special ed program too. Yeah, I'm fine. small, but I just don't hey, put our statues in front of them, them schools too, though. Oh, I want them in the hospital and in front of the special ed program. Nah, but um, I just had a hard time paying attention. They give you Thorazine? What's that? That shit that slow your ass down from moving around. Too Ritalin. Much. They gave me Thorazine. They tried to give me Ritalin. Well, they didn't try. They gave that motherfucker to me. So I was like, you know what? You know what I'm saying? But you know, I was in there. First, they call it special ed when you're in elementary school. How, how many years were you in that? The honest truth, I was not in regular school after second grade. After second grade? Damn. I was always in some type of program for, oh, no, he's Hostile just a little. Kids. And I, I mean, I no, get it, though. I was probably like a lot. Like, I was very, very. No, we very... call that in New York. This before you go to jail. We call that 600 school. Well, no school can take care of you. All the bad kids go to that one school. Yeah. And that's how I was. I was like, um. I couldn't pay attention. And then that that turned into just anger in my like middle school years. And then they put me in another one that was more so like uh that was more like a little jail. Like I was more so like the structure of it. Like, you know what I'm saying? It was like two security guards in every classroom. It was like six, seven people. Um, it was one middle school and two high schools. Did people yeah. make fun of you? Some of this? Um I was good at sports, man. I yeah. could dress. Or did my best with what I had, so I blended in. Nobody looked at me like you know. I know it probably looked crazy like me, cause when we had this little program where if you if you if you do your time enough in that joint, they'll let you go to your home school for like three or four periods. So I, when yeah. I got up, I got up, and they trust started dropping system, me off. Trust system, right? And when and when I got up when I got up that joint, it was like okay, well he's one of the best football players we got. Even though I self like self like you know my my confidence was yeah. probably like. All over the place. Like, how you bag a girl when you just got off the short bus? 
I found a way though. <laughs> yeah. I found a fucking way. I found a couple ways. God. Did you, did you take the short bus, Mike? Yeah, I did take the short bus. Yeah. Yeah. Shout, listen, shout out to the short bus gang. Listen, I was fine. <laughs> My friends just been here, Mike, what the fuck wrong with you, man? I said, what? Some of the short bus motherfuckers. Nah, some of them niggas just bad. Yeah, no, I was Some niggas is just bad. I was bad. Yeah. Like, nigga, nigga, you can get on this short bus and get a long ass whipping on this short bus. Damn. Oh, then the driver want to fight you. Oh, see, now that's another level. The driver want to fight you. You never went through that situation? I got suspended one time for my driver letting me off at the bus stop. Like yeah. to fight at the, the public bus stop, not the school bus stop. Nigga and Browns are we dragging that nigga out, ripping his pockets out. Nigga, if you hit me, what mother? He's a victim. <laughs> nigga, nigga, he's getting robbed, taking his watch, his wallet, everything. See, that's another level. That y'all super, y'all going super sand with the short bus, shit. Yeah, that's an allegory, right? That's an allegory. Yeah, that was tight. <laughs> <laughs> what was it? What was Super it? Sad. What was it, Wale? That uh, that that changed your career, man. What do you, what do you think it was, man? What inspired you, man, to be the? Why are you such a bad nigga? He's trying to say. What is? Uh, why I'm such a bad nigga? Yeah. I'm, I'm 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 me, man. It's a bad nigga. Like I'm, I'm 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 me to the point, like you know, everybody. Like I love my peers. Like I don't got no issues with none of these rap niggas. Like you know what I'm saying. But I just do me. I don't do. I just do what I want to do. Like I want to fucking. WrestleMania and SummerSlam, cause I want I like watching wrestling. I like the stories. I like how that shit go. Also, you changed the game. Congratulations on the yeah. WWE Hall of Fame. Do you? Thank you, brother. Okay, Thank cool. You. I just Thank want you. that, cause wrestling Man. Twitter they gonna know what. When did you get inducted, Mike? Um, a few years back, which you know I was saying? proud. But then you went to the other company though. Cause they were paying more money. I know. <laughs> they gotta understand, nigga. Some motherfuckers <laughs> is a draw. No, uh, listen. This, the whole I was, thing. I was, I was with you on that one, Mike. Yeah, but did that storyline play out? Is it over, or you might pop up I'm, again? I'm still friends with the owner, so he still likes Tony. my yeah, he likes my work. Pretty Tony Khan is what they call him. Yeah, Mr. Khan. What about Vince and them? I, mean, I love Vince and them. You know, last you, you talked to them of late. Not in a minute, but listen, I love them and I respect them. But from a business perspective, I have to go the right direction. They yeah, they, they respect me for absolutely, that. Absolutely, for sure. Sure, nah. There's because there's a big thing going on in, in that in that wrestling world between those two companies. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm tapped in. I, the cons. I, every time they use me, they break the record. Every time, yeah. Every time I come on the, the show, they break pop. the record. That's what so they, that's why they use me a lot. Yeah, no, for sure. They, I, I like what they're doing over there. You know, but I, I got, I'm, I do work with WWE. Like I do yeah, merch I, with I them and shit. Them. And I respect them. I respect them too. I respect Con, both companies. I'm letting Tony Khan and them realize that I want to be part of the family. Now they don't want to yeah. be working for the weekend or working for the week. Yeah. You know? I love them. They you love did them. everything Let's that you've done, but everything you've done, everything you've done in in, in the wrestling world has can, been can great. Can we see his entrance? Can oh, we see Mike's so entrance? I know you was big on. I know you was big on Bruno San Martino. That was your oh, guy. Yeah, I've seen him in I interviews. I used to watch him all the yeah. time. He beat everybody. They never let him lose. Nikolai he went for like, Volko. He went for like five years straight years, or something. 12 years. Oh, 12. Okay. Nobody can ever, yeah. He used to sell out the garden like that. Easy, easy. Nikolai CM Volko. Punk is like that now. I feel like he's, with that, I mean, as far as popularity. Yeah, he's popular. It's popular as shit. They just let you just manage somebody. Just come down there, talk your shit once a week. It's just beautiful. You don't even got to get in the demo. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's like a soap opera for men. Yeah. But the motherfuckers it's actually like got, but like on the athletic level, men. on the athletic, like you, they have car, them dunkers get like, imagine running around. These are real athletes though. They're real, yeah, athletes, they're real athletes, for real, for sure. And I think people take that shit like Look how much weight I, I was back then. <laughs> oh shit, no, I wasn't shit. talking about this one. I don't, Look how much know, I don't even know this one. I know this. I know this shit. WWF. Look how much weight I weighed back then. How much you think you weighed back then? Probably three. Look at me. <laughs> what year was this? I don't, I don't know, even know. I remember this Austin one, which is going, like, people say that's like the top five moment ever in this 40 year company. Fuck am I doing? I look like an old this fucking dirty. nigga. He look like security at uh, Love. <laughs> <laughs> he like about to put somebody in the chokehold at the club. Like The shirt is like, yo, I'm going to yoke your motherfucking ass uh, up. You can't get this shit. <clears throat> Well, you know the impact that you did. Had. You, did you ever do wrestling? You've been on. I've done. I've done what about like three of. Are you been fighting? Are you instigating oh, nah. and shit? But you. Were I'm like one. I'm like two hundred pounds of skinny fat. Nah, nigga, it's all stage. But nah, you for feel sure. It. I don't. Know. I think I'm too shy for that shit to be honest, man. <laughs> You're not shy, nigga. <laughs> when's, your, when's your birthday? Seven twenty first. What's that make you? Virgo. Virgo. Man, I means I overthink everything. Do you, you take a lot of vitamins and shit? 
Uh, yeah, Virgos are health habit motherfuckers. I think they just pressed about everything. They just really, you know, be on their shit. Like, we judgy people. Very, very. But we the judging most loyal. Them I, I think we the most. Judging them reading. I think we the most. But we, I think we the most loyal. Though. We pick and choose who we spend our time with. Why we? Oh shit, I'm rapping. Oh shit, nigga. I forgot I'm going there. I'm a wrestler here. Look at that. Oh yeah, you locked up. Yeah. Get your ass out the way. Look at this shit. Shawn nigga. Michaels like. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Mike probably thinking, man, yeah, you, you lucky this fake. The commentator probably saying, like, oh, they, they have history because of the, 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 the yeah. when he punched him for real. Didn't oh, you punch yeah. him for real at WrestleMania 17? I forget, nigga. I think he pu you punched <laughs> him for real. And he was like mad about it or something backstage. Like, you got a woman, man? Couple. Uh, couple. I don't want. Oh, a couple, yeah. you can't say nobody's name how you love them. No, 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 no. You I'm, can't tell one of those no, girls no, that. No, no, that, was, that know, was my reflex. Rapper. I know you can't do that. Can you say, I know I got a lot of bitches. I can't control myself, but sincerely, my heart is yours. My heart is yours, but I just can't stop this bullshit. I ain't hear you, Mike. What'd you say? <laughs> no, it's, you kind of described it in the most poetic way. Like, I can't control myself sometimes. <laughs> And I don't even want to get nobody. Uh, like, I know it's like that. That's why I said it. Nah, that's so that's why, probably why how the best way to describe it. You have have us talk with your, your wife when they say, "Baby, I don't know. Nah, I don't I have like nothing this? close to that." Why am I like I'm, this, baby? <laughs> no, ask my friends. Why do you think I'm like this, honey? I'm like, what's wrong with me? They could be like everything. <laughs> no, they tell me nothing's wrong with you. You're all right. Mm -hmm. So one time oh, I'm man. doing the yeah, Wale, we, we, I'm gotta, we all go that route. So one day I'm talking to this girl in my house. No, no. No, Wait, listen, there's nothing wrong with you. Trust me, brother. You're okay. You're okay. Everything is fine. Everything is <laughs> Everything is just fine. But yeah, I play ball. I played um, pro. I play football. And ain't capable, nigga. I don't know. Uh, yeah, were, you, were you any good, bro? Could you ball? I'm all right. I'm good. Yeah, that was good. Anybody in the rap industry, you'll beat them in ball one on one. I don't. Well, I don't know how to. I don't know how to gauge football one on one. Basketball. I'm. I'm like basketball. I'm like. I'm like a C plus, B minus in basketball. Nah, I'm football. Good. I'm like a good like B plus. But what's your also, position in football? I, well, I played running back in in high school. Then I switched to receiver for like the last four games, and then I got recruited as a receiver. For you got any whatever. clips on you on YouTube? My, they, I got some of my mother house, but they is buried on some dusty VHS. And I, every time I go there, I be trying to find it. But I got to end up getting a scholarship to uh, Robert Morris University in, in Pennsylvania. Awesome. Shout out to Coach Walton and the whole Moon Township. And then uh, I got in trouble because I went to that. Shit. I was in I was in that program, so my my um my my grades didn't like go over until like it was like week five. So they was like, we're gonna redshirt you. And in between my redshirt. For red shirting time in the in the spring, I got kicked out of school, and then I transferred to a HBCU, Virginia State. And um, shit. When, when did I, you know this shit was gonna pop? This music shit. Yeah. I don't know, man. I was getting a different energy of Virginia State. Like I was getting like a just a different because I, I wasn't really I was on the football team, but I wasn't concerned. I was like, man. And then we would do these battles by the uh, by Foster. I think it was across from Foster at the bookstore. And, like I was always having my old my own flavor. Like and. You know, they was feeling me. I, I, I kind of felt like I was just this shit around the corner around that time. But it got real when I transferred to Bowie State. And, uh, nigga, you a motherfucking erudite, man. All these fucking schools, man. He's talking about he dropped out of ninth grade, but be saying erudite. And I'm like, what? <laughs> we got the thesaurus on deck. I mean, you're an educator, man. Oh, nah. I just kept getting kicked out. Yeah, but you kept going, nigga. I wanted to play football, that's why. But I'm glad. I went to one school and it's over rap. Right? <laughs> Bye. That's my whole uh no, I was at I was at Bowie State you know. So man, you tell me you passed all those tests and shit. I did just good enough on the SATs. Yeah. To 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 wow. get to get a scholarship. But um again, like that program I was in, it wouldn't allow my grades to, it, it took too long. Cause they never seen that, like no school like that. So it was just a weird process. When I'm in prison, I write the greatest you know, be poetic letters and shit. And you I still have them? No, I don't even know how to start a letter now. <laughs> yeah, you, you lost all your letters, Mike. Did you Did you draw a lot in prison? I'm I'm a horrible drawer. Yeah. Me too. I Me can't too. draw shit. Me too. No, no, no. When you say writing, are you talking about you like as a poet, or you to your family? Not or? the letter to my family. How my, long was you in again? Three and a half. 
Did you work out or you was just chilling? Yeah, I got in shape. I, was, I went in there like, what, 278 and left around 214. That's why you was ready to eat nigga family and kids. Yeah, and, yeah. That's why, because you was ready to eat nigga. Yeah. You know that. Prince Wale. 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 Return of the King, nigga. Return of the King. 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 Did you get in any, did the niggas ain't want no smoke when you was locked up or you got into some shit? Nigga want to try you in there? Everybody just loved me. Everybody just cool with me. Straight. Everybody just gave me what I needed. They didn't want me to go there. They brought me food from the child line. So you don't got to go up there. That's what happens. I the footage treat, is out already. I had to treat people the they way already I had his, They already them. had the tape on him. So when he got there, they was like, oh, nah, we good, Mike. No, nah, listen, it's no, all good. I don't care how good you fight. Them niggas got crews and them niggas are killing. Them niggas up there for murder. They don't care about killing nobody. Yeah. yeah. They don't care. They're never coming home. They don't give a fuck. Yeah, the, the people. And they shouldn't have put me in prison with those guys, man. I shouldn't have been locked <laughs> up with those guys. You think man. it changed you? Huh? You think it changed you like as a, as a fighter? You think that time changed you at all? I was never the same fighter. I just think, um, I just think that's just was the kind of environment that I could thrive in. I just, right. This is just where I've been all my life. All my life, this has been most of my surroundings. Then I started boxing, and now I'm back in there. But once I, I felt very normal there. Normal felt, in there. I felt very normal there. Yeah, I knew what to do here. In prison. Yeah. And who, who was the first fight when you got out? Uh, I remember. I, th I think it was it uh, the, the London nigga. No, right? the white guy, Peter McNeil. Remember the crazy guy from Boston. And then the then the one what was it? Uh, Bruno, what's his name? Then Bruno, Frank Bruno. Frank Bruno. I remember that commercial on Fox. He was like Frank Bruno, something, 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 and it was like showing him knocking the guy. Out. Frank Bruno, something, something, something. So I was knocking the guy. I, I don't know why these moments stick with me, but I was like, yo, because he was mad, like, like, <laughs> but you beat the shit. <laughs> He's a big guy. Beat the shit out of him. Beat the shit out of him. Yeah, did, did people have some crazy shit in prison? Did, did people make sh like crazy shit like to like you know defend themselves? Like you know what I mean? Um, yeah, everybody had their stuff, but um, listen, man, um, somebody went, like listen. Like if her have a problem with you, you never gonna see her again. You she sending somebody, you ain't gonna never see her again. And now you got somebody on after your head. You never gonna see them again. Yeah. And now somebody's gonna come stab you or chop your head off. This is not depicted on Orange is the New Black. This is <laughs> black no, is I'm the not, black black. Everything black. goes here, Wally. Season one, nah. Everything goes on this fucking hot box. No, I love, I love it. I love it. It's nothing but you. You've had a lot of, you've had a lot of interesting, you've had a lot of interesting, you've had a lot of interesting interviews. Yeah, you'll get, a, a yeah, you'll get things. fucked up. I imagine it's kind of like a high, you know, it could be, it may survive with the fittest. Right. You know, you have to be careful what you say. <laughs> be right. very careful what you say. Did you, did you still have the same, um, like, confidence when you came out? Like, as far as, like, being the greatest boxer in the world? Yeah, yeah. I thought about it every day. I used to run in, I used to run in place in my room. Wow. For like an hour and a half, two hours. Run in place, run in place, run in place with my headphone and my, my radio. It's Did you place. ever in your mind be like, all right, I could beat all these niggas except for such and such and such and such I might have a problem with? Did you ever be like in your mind be like, I might, this, might, this guy might give me some problems? Well, no, I didn't look at it from that perspective. I, I don't know if you can allow me to say I just look at them as they're a food. That's how you're supposed to look at them. you food. Yeah. How could how could they dare match me? Yeah, you know you have to have that kind of perceptive perception of yourself. Right, it almost has to be God status. Right, I agree. In any field, any field, but more so than when it's when it's like physical, like no, like mental, combat. physical. Listen, if you lose a rap battle, it feels just as bad if somebody knock you out. No, it's probably a little worse if somebody knock you out. No, it's man, a different mad, embarrassment. No, and also it's physical pain. Too, right? you get embarrassed. Well, physical pain ain't nothing. You can get away from it. You can't get away from the psychological pain. Physical pain ain't shit. Ain't shit. It's the, it's the pain up here. Hey, man, I've had like a broken, torn Achilles. I don't know, man. That motherfucker, physical pain do be made. Hey, Physical pain is a motherfucker. You know, Mike. listen, right? Um, yeah, but I, I think Mike, Mike's talking about more of the mental warfare. Yeah, right, Mike? Listen, when those guys had those spies or uh, traitors and they're torturing them, right? They torture them so much where the pain doesn't bother them anymore. So then they have to kill mm. them. So don't tell me nothing about pain. When it stops hurting, when people are cutting you in pieces, mm. <laughs> broken leg or broken Achilles, give me a break. 
Well, one thing I definitely know about is the mental part. Cause shit, it's you know, all mental. This entertainment man. business. Your own, your only purpose for who, your who, body who, who is to carry your who brain. Has, who got empathy for the niggas that's always on TV, always on the radio, always in? The, who got empathy for the niggas that are, that are considered legends? They, the, the, the first thing niggas assume is, oh, your life is great. You're a legend. You got money. You got everybody adulation. They don't like well, who got who has empathy for them. Well, listen. Why should anybody have empathy for them? I think everybody should have empathy for no, everybody. Listen, from this, no, it's true, but why? Because they succeeded? Why Not because they... that, but why doesn't... When, when if something bad happens to somebody who's highly touted or whatever, the empathy is is not... It's is, is low. They'd be like, oh, well, this person died. They shouldn't have been doing drugs. Or this person, uh, blah, blah, blah. Da, 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 da. They don't, it's not as much as it would be for like well, somebody else. And I'm not saying no, no, nobody with, no, celebrities are above, nobody, celebrities ain't above nobody. I'm just saying empathy is like non-existent for some people that really need it. Well, listen, I don't know about that, but I know if these guys, these celebrities, the way they now, the Kobe, all these guys, the biggest star Drake, if they were in biblical time, they'd be in the Bible. Right. You know how great they will be in biblical times? Right. You know, that's all it is. The Bible is just a story about black people. It's a forever book, right? The Bible's a forever book. Look how many years, right? Look how fast everything is in and out now. I think about that shit all the time. The Bible, the Bible is forever. Like, it's pe every year. And the oldest person we know, anybody knows in physical form, knows the Bible. Everything like this. Yeah, but check this are out. You, a movie, are, are, are a you movie, spiritual? a book. Are you I'm, spiritual? I'm, I'm spiritual. But yeah. no, what? No, but check that piece of game. And I'm a Muslim, right? Does this book represent God? Is if whatever a thousand pages? That's all God give us. Is a thousand pages? That's all his life is worth. From these books, I mean, Jay Z say. says something in some interview. I don't know. That, you know he says something about it being like like a lot of. I don't know. Maybe let me not say because I don't know. Maybe did he tell me this in private or was it an interview? I don't know. I'm high, but he he the way he described that joint, uh, it gave me a new perspective. One of y'all niggas asked Jay Z if maybe he said it in an interview. I don't want to say it because maybe I'm high and he told me that like like some other time and I'm just like saying some shit. But the 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 what I'm saying the the Bible being a forever book, right? How to like well how many years was it? I'm not like a bit very. Like, 2022. How did that joint? That joint got remixes too. Like, you know, this remix is to the Bible, but like, how does that transfer to 200 years later? And now, like you said, like, if, if things are biblical, like, yeah, you can't, are, you can't, are, you can't do not, I don't really even think that you can do nothing now that can last that long as the Bible. Do you, do you believe in Jesus? I do. Well, listen, why did they kill Jesus? Just, why? Why? I, why? There's different, there's different. Because Jesus believed the, the rich should give to the poor. And they shouldn't be any poor. You know? He believed in that. God, Jesus was a communist before communists was in, invented. He wanted to help the people, treat, it, treat them equally, the poor. And if he came back, he would want the same, he would want this pretty much the same treatment for the poor. And know what? We'd kill him again. Do you think we that, love money think, more than think, we love do you God. Think that, do you think that we, we treat the poor worse now than, than they did in biblical time? No, I'm not going to say that. But only thing I think that um, we just have to know who we are as people. Right. And not lie to ourselves and do some self-investigation. Right. You know, they who kill, are we as people? Who are we as people? Man is, um, you know I mean, it, it'll be scientifically proven that man is a a compound of needs and necessities that can never be fulfilled. And with when they are fulfilled, you're left with a a feeling of feelingness and abandonment. That's who we are. We're some selfish You feel you do do you have an abandonment do you have abandonment? Abandonment? Like like you? yeah, do you have yeah. I, I think I do too. I do too. Yeah, no I doubt think about like it. even like um I'm chilling with a girl, right? Or whatever. If I like her I'm, I, I might like go hard if I like her, like like you know what I'm saying. But if I don't like her, it's, it's like zero. It's not. You know it's what? like it's like I'm like a I'm like a moving statue. I, I, um, and, wait, and, and, I and so that. so so when so when so, so like some anything it, women, but anything like a lot of them. anything that I like like a lot, I always I'm always scared to lose it. It could be 
No, remember like they say, throw it away if it's come back to mental. Yeah, no, nah, fuck that, man. I don't want you to, if Listen, I, you, you might not come back. You know, I don't got that, the boomerang. That's country. You don't want a wife, you want a slave. No, I don't. No, listen to you. I said you did. No, I don't want to. You said throw it, throw it away. Like yeah, I'm I not said, gonna throw it away if it's meant to be. You can come, come back. back, but not, like if it's a great, if you're if you're trying that test with a great woman, how do you somebody else gonna great? know she's great? What makes her great? I'm just saying. You say uh, uh, you say uh, if you what makes the what makes the woman great? What makes you, the woman if great? You just made her. Uh, her perception, but your eyes make nah, her great because you don't no, know her. A, uh, what I think to make a woman great is like personality. Is, which is very underrated, you know what I'm saying? And just uh, like vibrations, the, the energy. You know I saying? respect that. The energy that she give me. Respect that. I like because, that. Because you know, a lot of people are like, um, I always got this motto: some girls are in the around for decoration. Some girls are around for inspiration. You know what I'm saying? Some girls will inspire you to be a better person. Some girls are literally just like, it's not even real brick. Some girls, some girls are made out of this shit right here, emotionally in, inside and out. Some girls are there for decoration. Some are there for inspiration. The girls that's there for the inspiration, yeah, those are the ones. And there's some, they're, few, they're few and far between. Them. And you have to understand, there's some to crush the the world at their feet too. They're not there for looking good or being the fly. They want to conquer the world just <laughs> like we do. Oh, you talking? About, you want to talk about decoration? <laughs> yeah. What about the that's decoration, too, that's, right, Mike? That's, that's yeah, too. too that's good that's, too, you know what that's I'm not living, living. That's, that's 1950 <laughs> shit right here. That's too, that's too TMZ for me, man. That's 1950. That's too, that's too TMZ, man. <laughs> man. <laughs> I love this. Nah, shit. decoration. I'm not trying to like belittle women. You ever wonder what it's like to get a million dollar payday? Now you can with DraftKings, the official daily fantasy partner of the NFL. Get started today and you'll be on your way to that million dollars. All you have to do is sign up using code HOTBOXER. Then you pick up your line and you say, under salary cat, motherfucker. Once that is done, just see how your team stacks up against the competition. In order to have that shot of a million bucks, download the DraftKings app now. Use code HOTBOXING, make your first deposit, of at least five bucks. Eligibility restrictions apply. See DraftKings.com for details. Yeah, because you obviously you've experienced a lot of things, Mike. Is, yeah. is, is that what's made you compassionate, Mike? Oh, no. That's all I have is compassion because if no one gave me compassion, I'll be nothing. Yeah. Look at the world could gave me compassion. Nigga, I've been now, you got one of the biggest hearts, though. Nigga. You be like hugging pigeons and shit like that. That's no. a different level of well, no, that, compassion. That's something I've been doing all my life. I don't even know why I love them. That's, I've been doing it, this so long. And that's not even a glamour. It's not a glamour pet. Like, it's not a fucking alligator or whatever. These, like a chihuahua or whatever. No, nigga hug pigeons. But no. also can fight like shit, though. No, but listen, that's pigeons a, are very important in history. It's juxtaposition, Mike. Pigeon was the first um, mailman. They carried mail. Pigeons was the first guy. That they were using them during the Crusades before Christ. Jesus had pigeons. Yeah. They all had pigeons back then. Yeah, that was a so cell phone pigeons back fall in the day. Off? Huh? Because pigeons Prophet don't do Muhammad, that no more. Like, they what? Or did pigeons fall off? Because they don't do that no more. What do you mean fall off? They, did they fall off? They're not as hot as they was. Yes, they are. <laughs> they used to be hot. Oh, hey, time, they used to be, they be, oh, they were sending, they were sending emails for Jesus. Excuse me? Put up the most expensive pigeon in the world, please. I put us on. Because I can't wait for Jay-Z to watch it and be like, man, I'm buying pigeons now. And tell me how much they cost. Can't wait. Drake gonna have the, the pigeon. Fifteen. Where is it from? Belgium. Drake gonna go to Belgium, buy that joint, and make it the, hey, listen. the new OVO logo. Listen. Hey, 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 <laughs> hey, listen. Can I tell you something? Shout out Drizzy, man. That guy won't send that sell that bird for a hundred million. This what is... the fuck do that do? Is shit diamonds? You can't. Yeah, yeah. That's what it does. It got to. That's what it does. Why? No. Why is it so much, Mike? No, why I could dig, God right? Me. Because of who was his, who's his mother and father, who's his grandparents, who's his great grandparents. The pigeons, bloodline. not the owners. Bloodline. Okay. Just like the human race and, too. And what, is it, and what is it about that bloodline, though, Mike? Huh? What is it about that bloodline? The failed. blood is made of champions. Infinity stones. No champions. And Wakanda vibrating. Born to win. Born to win. Refuse to lose. Did, did Rather you, die to lose. Were you a born a street pigeon? But what is guy, a pigeon Mike? gonna? What is a pigeon gonna win though? What can huh? a pigeon win? They know that. They know they're the racing. The most. Flying to they know they racing. High building and yeah. no, they know they racing. Getting a cracker award. Yes, that like, means what a lot to them. That means flying a lot. down from uh, no wherever knows. to get like no. a sunflower seed award. They running to get back to love. 
I'm talking about pigeons, man. Yeah. Come on, man. Who do it like Mike Tyson, man? Did you ever buy expensive pigeons, Mike? Or you more yeah, of I bought a... expensive but I never I have some home with pigeons too. You bought expensive you bought expensive pigeons? Yeah. You bought them. Yeah. You... I would have I would have got like a cage and just 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 went outside with like some sunflower seeds. Listen, and then got them for you, Mike. You still want pigeons? I'll do that shit now. No. I'll I will go on Hollywood Boulevard and be like, and I'll put in get Mike Tyson on the roof with his pigeons. And see what you see. I didn't know. On Jimmy Kimball's show, a pigeon something. is a bird that is something. Remember that? Uh, I don't want no pigeons. A pigeon is so loyal you wouldn't believe it. Pigeon die before he he yeah. died. Some in, some in the World War II, they've been shot. They still, they walked home. They were shot down and they walked home. Pigeons. <laughs> Pigeons. Imagine all those animals that could eat them and they still got home. I just hired security. Is that one for me and the birds? <laughs> Jump in front of yeah, them. Oh, man, that's an old one, man. I don't even live there no more. Is that, like, is that in Arizona? Yeah, you can't even see my bird. How about in Manhattan, New York? This WWE time. He just got off the yeah. stage with, with Chris Jericho on this one. What animals you own now? You you own any animals, pets? I don't, I have a, a dog. What's his name again? What kind of dog is that? Labadoodle. And I have um, that's a small joint, right? No, they're big. We we're trying to buy the small one, but they they gave us the big one. You remember Arnold Schwarzenegger's uh, a pony? We went to his house. Yeah. I'm just talking. Man, look, See this man, man in my See bird that right there. Himself, who dab? Zab, man. That nigga was my favorite boxer all through. That was the man. Man. God. You can't even see me with my bird. That's yeah. my nigga. What makes a pigeon better than a parrot? I'm not saying who's big. Listen, check this out. You did have an affinity for pigeons. Yeah. I'm not saying who's better than who. I just know a pigeon costs more than... Let's look at the most expensive um, parrot. How much that cost? That might cost more than a pigeon. Oh, look at that's my what bird. I'm saying. This nigga might be on some other level, and he be trying to underplay it. I think that's his gimmick, though. How the fuck? He knew that shit was worth millions before we even did it. And it blew everybody's mind, but we got to be act regular because we don't want to be like, yo, this nigga Mike is a savant. How much Alien. it cost? 40000 40, So the most nine. expensive parrot is $40,000. What's the, the most, most expensive bird in the world? If this, if it comes back as this pigeon, I'm leaving. I just want to say, hey, let me say goodbye now. Nah, they're nah. big. They got nah, 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 nah. If, it's, if it comes back as this same pigeon, they got I, some you, horses, some race horses. horses. They got some race horses that kill, but we talking nah. birds. Is it going to be this pigeon? Is it going to be this pigeon? Is this, is, 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 am I being part? Like, no. I don't know, bro. Don't bro, think, let's just count. Oh, it is. Ah. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, don't, don't underestimate a pigeon, baby. Don't Is it ironic? Oh, no, mind. I don't want to ask no more. I'll, I'll do my own research okay, at home. Can you the go back to that again? The next one is what, 15000 That motherfucker got a, a Number two is 15000 <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's forty. That's the closest one's 40000 40. 40. Look at, nigga, it look like shit. Right? Don't there's some niggas out to get that jump for 40 just to boil it and see if it go good with stuffing. That million, that milli, <laughs> that milli rock. Well, that Millie hey, Rock different well, for the bird, well, man. You know what? Peace game. You can never let it out. It's a prisoner for life. Yeah. Man, you let it out. That's the most expensive. So that's, a, that's, the, that's the most expensive jail in America. <laughs> man, or whatever, yeah. Brazil, whatever. Yo, listen, you're right. You're right. 15 milli for it. And he can't see his mom. He can't get commissary. The only thing he's gonna do is fuck. How do how the pigeons fuck? She sits down, she moves her. Uh, her Me and Mike Tyson, man. Hey, then listen, he gets on back. How pigeons fuck by Mike Tyson. Ready, go. Then he gets on top of her and he starts busting her guts out. Damn. Pigeons well, got Peters? The reason why the pigeons I never saw them. During the crusade. That's what he said. I thought he was Wellem. He was telling the truth. But I agree because he's Mike Tyson oh, and I don't. No, listen, I just oh. love my limbs Wale, the way they work. Wale. I'm Everything I talk about, I'm an expert in. So let's talk about something you're not an expert in women. <laughs> Shit, right. nigga, how many kids you got? You an expert or something? I'm not an expert in having a cool understanding with them. Let's talk about the uncomfortable shit so we can go viral. Um, There's nothing uncomfortable, baby. No, 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 I know. I, I, know I, in I, this I, program. I watch, I, watch, I, watch, I watch the interviews, man. Nothing uncomfortable. I, I just want to tell you, I love what you've done with your career and your life because you, you, you've you become like a media darling. I ain't shit. No, no, no let me get this one off because I have been. Ahead, I was practicing it in the car. Not really, but kind of in my head. You, the baddest man on the planet. Da, 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 da. Oh my God, Mike Tyson. You was like the boogeyman till 
Now it's like, oh my God, Mike Tyson's one of the greatest media people in the world. And you will jump in and do the, do, the, do the trailer shit, show you still got hands, move around. Be, like, and it's, it's just inspiring because it's like, I don't know if like, I, I, I consider, you're not a rapper, but I consider you hip hop culture. Mm-hmm. I think everybody do. I don't, as a, when I first jumped into this, when I was like 19, I was like, how this shit gonna be in 30 years? Like how what hip hop gonna be in 40 years, 20 years? And I just think that niggas like you, Joe, um, Nori, Fat Joe, um, are just showing us how our culture is going to age gracefully. No, no. You, you, I, you, I just agree in that moment. No, it's showing you, it's showing you how to survive. I don't, you're not surviving though, bro. Oh, well, you're listen, doing you're doing you're doing things that people that you say love. thriving, but surviving is just being existence. I like to exist to be able to do things. Well, they're probably the same thing. We're using different words. Do you feel like because you say surviving, that means bottom like like scraping to just be afloat. You're not afloat, nigga. You the boat. Listen, I'm gonna be afloat with a 10 billion. I'm gonna be afloat. That's not a. Fl- that's 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 <laughs> prospering. I feel like. What I'm gonna be struggling. I had 10 billion, nigga. That's a float, right? When you don't have it, and you're going up, right? That's a float. When you're trying to get there. No, nah, fact. Yeah, I'm one of those guys. I'm not gonna but stop you, till you I doing, die. You, you're doing great, though. How many people I can help with a billion dollars? You don't know. Well, you're doing great. Keep like keep doing like the point I'm making, everybody. Cause we have, all right. Like he doing. I love yeah. the way he doing what what he doing, and it's showing. You know that like there's, a, there's no, another there's another level. My, Mike's a giver, dude. I, I remember I was with you in New York, Mike. And I'll never forget it, man, because we went out to the street, and then uh, there was a bum that came up to us and asked the, uh, you know, that he was kind of asking for money, and then you pulled a, a wad of hundreds, and you gave that you gave that bum a uh, hundred bucks, but he had no idea who you were, and I remember he like looked, he's like, are you serious? Like he started reacting. But then you kind of told them, you gave them a hundred dollar bill. You said, "Hey man, I get out of here, man." The dude's like, "Yeah, I'm gonna go buy my clothes." I like, no, just get out of here. Like, don't come back. You, do you, you do you remember that, Mike? But I don't no, remember, no, but I know no. what happened because that's just no, what I do. No. I keep a, a pocket full of money for the homeless every day. Yeah, but a hundred dollars. You know what I'm saying? Like it was it was different because the dude was it was, you know, it was you, super generous. It was I, I generosity want... that the dude is, has never in his lifetime been given a hundred dollars. So this wasn't a homeless person. So I just want to do my disclaimer, but. I relate because I went. I was by cookies, the you know the weed joint on Melrose. Yeah. I'm by cookies, and the fruit man is right there. And I bought like a little like ten dollar fruit bowl, and I just gave him a hundred dollars. Right? Didn't make a big deal of it. I just gave it to him, shook his hand, and moved. I went to the studio for like two three hours. Came back, he was still there. I was like, Yo, what's up, man? Um, trying to get another joint. I was like, Yo, you remember I came by earlier? My money was out for my next joint. And he was just like, I've never seen you before in my life. Same nigga I just gave up like a $90 tip to. Well, that's, I don't do it because I like these people. No, nah, I just felt like, <laughs> no, I've had good karma since. I've had good karma. I lost my wallet in a strip club, nigga, and I, I found it. So I think that was because of the tip. No, the, no. The juice I used to do it because that's the tax I pay for living on this planet. Other stuff is probably just extort, legal extortion, but I know taking care of the people is really paying the real taxes while you're alive. I learned that from Muhammad Ali. Are they paying the people the poor is paying taxes for your life on earth? Taxes are, you know what I mean, that's uh, that's legal extortion, some people think. That but can you but, can you expound on that? Ta- like, cause I don't think Nick, I don't think the niggas know what ta- like how they be doing niggas with taxes. Well, listen, I don't want to talk about taxes because they might get mad if I tell you the history of taxes. Mm. Well, now, you I tell you that all oh, taxes, good, man. They've been on my, yeah. Uncle Sam, man. Ain't, ain't no uncle of mine. Man, With, listen, I tell you, he just, listen, he just Uncle brought Tom, up Ali. Uncle, uncle, uncle Sam is the most powerful guy in the world. And we gotta stay on this side. Yeah. You just brought it's, up Ali, man. Did, 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 did you have a friendship with Ali, or was it a, like a mentorship? Believe, like, how um, was it with Muhammad Ali? Your relationship? Worshiping ship. How <laughs> he just worshiped him. He knew yeah. he was great. Is he the number one boxer of all time? In my life, I believe so. What about uh, Sugar Shane Robinson? What? He's great Robinson? too. Is he Sugar Ray Robinson? Sugar Ray Robinson. That's a Sugar Shane Robinson. That was Muhammad's hero. I know. So, but who, who, who's the master or the teacher? Listen, the teacher or the learner? Listen, I'm just giving my opinion. Ali was um under sixty. He was one sixty. He was one sixty. Ali was two twenty, two eighteen, right. and Ali was faster than him. So you tell me who's better? When you when you when you was coming up, right? So Muhammad Ali got a whole nother style to you. Yeah. But that's who you worship. That's who you, yeah. you know, you know, you got you got with Customato. That's his name, yeah. right? That's how you yeah. say his name. So 
you 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 training and you know I, I, at at some point you had to know like damn like I'm really good at this shit. Did you in your mind it was like I'm doing the same thing Ali was doing, but I'm a completely different. Absolutely, with the same um, desire and will right. to win. Yeah, yeah, the same as Ali had. Ali was a different kind of fighter. But it's so crazy to me that Ali is his inspiration, but it's like he's doing a whole nother style where it's like Listen, you can only enjoy Muhammad Wale, Ali's fights from Wale. Just... Ali ruined so many heavyweights trying to copy him. They they say this is impossible. Why why am I gonna do this? You know, so I'm not gonna be I listen, Ali's six three and a half. I'm five ten and a half. I'm not gonna be able to fight these monsters, these tall guys like Ali for him. When, when did you know that when did you know that you was gonna be we was gonna be beating the shit out of grown men? Around fourteen. No, professionally. Fourteen. So you started training at? I started training around thirteen, fourteen. Oh, okay. Uh, if you said like seventeen, I'm like, damn, you was practicing on the street? With niggas, yeah, just like <laughs> yeah, no, no, yeah. And, and 12, 13, I was knocking cats out. I looked like this at 12. No, nah, you give me the energy of the niggas that I was in the program with. That was just, I, I was just the fight. <laughs> they just could fight. Not, my, not much on conversation. <laughs> they yeah. fight, though. They will fight. That's all we did all day was fight. Fight all day in Brown. Do you remember how you felt your very, very, very first fight? The very first prof professional. A professional? Yeah, I knew this guy wasn't going to last long. Did you? Did everybody know? Yeah, or? he looked. He was a pumpy, fat guy. He had, he had, <laughs> he had a shitty record. He looked like police, <laughs> like a police, like a security nah, he guard. Hard, but he didn't look like security. He was hard. So who's the first one that you was like, all right, I'm going to fight. I got, I got, I got to fight. You strategy, not um, just beat, not just beat him. Probably him. when I went ten rounds with James, James Tillis, because Cowboy Tillis, because he was more experienced yeah. than me, and I went the distance with him. But after that, I went the distance. The, Ten rounds again with Mitch Green, but then I knocked everybody out after that. ten knockouts after that. You realize, like, I know niggas be on here kissing his ass and everything. All the I'm time. I'm trying, All but, the but time. I but I'll be very All but the I fucking time. Right. No, nah, I don't I mean, nah, because I fuck I with just, him. I think he knows about a combo. So I, I fuck I want with my him. Ass but um <laughs> listen. No, do you realize like I don't know, man. Maybe I just can't draw no. it right now. Maybe somebody oh, can give me one. He's a legend, bro. Mike no, Tyson no, no, is no, a legend. Gonna, he knows legend, that. No, I gotta come with something different. He has one of the most, like, Forrest Gump careers because think about everything he's done, right? Forrest Gump, meaning he's just been everywhere. The nigga been on WWE, AEW, got trained by one of the greatest, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Pac, right? That was, oh, oh the, that, today, speaking about that. It's, Pac, right? Yeah. It's just, if like... Everything that's combined of Mike Tyson is so crazy. Fucking, uh, what's that movie called? The uh, Hangover, right? Hangover. Yeah. Listen, what fight was that? Um, that was my Tilden. That was my Sheldon fight. That's like the fourth one. Fourth yeah. one we was out. I yeah. think third or fourth. Third, third one. That was the one I was on Fox. I think. Listen, but all those, I've been all those guys and all those things, right? And that could be that could be titled or labeled as greatness, right? What kind of person is that? Am I? All the, all no, it's what we, the guy that has all these establishments. What what kind of person you think he should be? He you know, he she would be who? doing all that. The person who established all the things, the that awards you did? that I did. Yeah, how should he conduct himself? I, uh, by, I his, know. by his establishment. Is that rhetorical? Yes, it is kind okay, of. Okay, go ahead. But by, by by looking at his credentials, what would you think? Which way? How would you think he would carry himself from his credentials? Really? So it's not rhetorical. What I'm saying is. You showed niggas, bro, you came home, you was talking so like in another, you was just levitating, like you was just, if internet, if Twitter was out right, and you went from that, you, you, you stopped boxing, you was in like iconic movies, doing uh, uh, wrestling, the AEW, got your weed strand, got a podcast going, do the and trilogy you know for the back, about that whole and thing? you did it, and and you you know niggas was against the odds, you know we was on the short bus, like we said, yeah, <laughs> we was on that motherfucking yeah. small jump, and look what tell you did, look what you become. Dad, Tyson's ranch, them, not them, even them, a lot of them white folks probably thought that nah, he ain't gonna be da -da 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 -da. after this is da -da -da -da. nah, nigga, you came back, <laughs> and you still doing it. I don't know. That's it's just that's who I am. I had a t. I just want to be up more than anybody wants me yeah. to be down. That's just what it is. Well, you great nigga, and, and I'm not. I'm not I'm here to kiss your ass. Great people. I'm, 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 niggas kiss your ass about the boxing shit, whatever. That everybody know he, he one of the greatest boxers. I'm talking about how you did this, 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 whatever the like. You just yeah, still doing that, it. But you know what I'm saying? What I'm saying, 
I met a lot of great men, right? I met a lot of great men. Most of the great men I met was met wasn't good men. So I work hard on being a good man more than anything. Fuck all those accomplishments. Everybody got if flaws. If you're a scumbag, though. you got all those accomplishments. Everybody got flaws. Like you said, everybody got flaws, though. We all have flaws, but when we, yeah. when we can the, fix them, that's a great man can have A great man so, can have flaws, sometimes though. Sometimes he's just a great man, then. Come on, go uh, ahead. Come on, you know uh, what? Dale, you know, Earnhardt, you, know, you driving what, a car. You know what I like? I you know what guy. I like about you? <laughs> I know the vibe. Like, if it go too crazy, he's yeah. just like, whoa, whoa, we back here. Uh, yeah. whoa, you, you know now. what I like I about it, Mike? I just, I love, <laughs> nah, you know what it is. But we vibing, but then we got to remember yeah. we doing this shit too. Yeah, and he'd be I like, skirt. He's like, yo, get this motherfucker off the set. I don't like him. He's really high. He's high with Mike. If one nigga be the straight man and then Mike be high. Then, nah, it's too, you got two high niggas with you, bro. Figure it out. Figure it out. Yeah, you need it. Because that shit will go left. We going to be end up calling niggas on. Yo, remember when? These guys get... I was already crug before I got here, Mike. You know what I'm saying? But I will say this, Mike, Mike, something about you, Mike, is you're fair, bro. And that's what I love about you, Mike, that you're a fair human. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, if you fucked up, like, obviously you pay the price. Like, you know what I'm saying? And uh, that's what that's what I love about you, Mike. Listen, man. You are, you are fair, but sometimes you be too... Damn, I'm... Nah, I ain't going to say that to Mike hey, Tyson. Hey, hey, nigga, we brothers. The fuck you talking about? Nah, we can fight. <laughs> I'm going to fight your lover. You nah, we can fight. I ain't fighting you, okay? Let's fight then. Fuck you, I'm not fighting. Fuck you, let's fight. It's like, nah, that's going to be good for a little bit, though, when I say fuck you to Mike Tyson. I would never. I would run so fast. I would run on, I would run to LAX. Yeah, Wale, do security. Well, I, I, I do this from practice, Wale, because I know if you can make me angry, you own me. Yeah, no, nah, nah, I, I heard you say that. I heard you say that in the interview. Me. Yeah, I disagree a little nah, bit, because I think if the nigga make you angry, it, you don't own me, like nigga. You might be owning some other shit. You might be owning a spot in Cedar, Sienna, whatever that shit called. Well, I'm if a you different make, guy. Like, if I'm angry. I'm violent. Yeah, exactly. So I don't get. I it's on, bro, short bus. It's we. No, it's one way. Short bus. Short I was, bus. I, keep I, forgetting. I was a nigga. Like I was. Time. I was not the nigga that was fighting everybody. Don't get it twisted. Right I was a nigga that was just like making fun of the teachers, not listening. Just. Do you being still take medicine to this day? I will not answer that question I right now. I still take medicine to this day. I don't want to answer that question right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I got anxiety though. Package. I definitely got anxiety, and um, I'm not um, I'm not good in social settings. Yeah. I, I, two therapists said I got this thing called um, avoidant personality disorder, and um, that's for genius. Fritz, uh, what's that nigga Nietzsche had that shit too. Hey, bro, can we go to the studio this week? Like, this nigga is my next producer, nigga. What the fuck? Uh, what's well, up? No, nah, no, nah, like we gotta go to the studio. You be saying to... some shit. You be saying some shit. I'm. I need to write down when the Listen. beat is playing. You said ho avoid the personality. What was you about to say, Nietzsche? Yeah, Frederick Nietzsche, one of the baddest philosophers yeah. in the world. You know, caused venereal disease the first time he gets laid. <laughs> you know, he died with venereal disease and shit. Who right? Nietzsche? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. But back then, they had nothing, nigga. You nah, catch you a call, you dead. It's you over. Had, you had um, gonorrhea. You had it for life, I guess. How? This Great nigga, point. don't Queen. no, don't let him talk about the dropped out shit no more. The nigga is a fucking professor right now, nigga. Like, will you go and go to Morehouse and teach a class, nigga? You be knowing too much shit. How you know about Nietzsche? When you read about Nietzsche? In prison. Touche. Prison, you got a lot of time. You can probably teach anything after. And then time. Wagner, you know Wagner. What's I want to hear about the, I want to hear about the avoiding personality What's with Nietzsche. The first name, Nietzsche. Though? Nietzsche. Uh, uh, avoiding Mike. Nietzsche and no avoiding personality because I want to know. Nietzsche believed God was dead. Right. He believed God was dead, and the overman or the underman was not the guy. He the strong man wasn't the man that fight back or destroy. The strong man was the one that could endure the most. Right. That was the Superman. That was the open man, not the one that could dish out the most. The one that could absorb absorb the most. Like rope a dope kind of. Didn't he take yeah. all that? He took all that because he no, couldn't endure see, them all. Ali took some punches, but he avoided a lot of punches too. This is just full flash, everything in and, your and face. Cardio too, though. Yeah. Endure, the, endure oh, yeah, like absolutely. moving around and, you know. Ali had 100, 200 amateur fights. He's an experienced fighter. Come on. Go ahead. I know you want one. Do it. <laughs> what are you talking about, nigga? <laughs> no, that's my man. Because he makes sure, make sure me and Mike don't go be, be, gonna be talking about some other shit. Ask now, you can do, do, No, do, no, do, no. What I want to know, bro, is what's next to? What's next on the horizon? All yeah, these accolades. Yeah, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm vibing with you like that, so I'll be forgetting that. I, I, yeah. I, I literally forgot I make music for like the last listen, 30 minutes. Listen. <laughs> but who you going to work with next? You going to work shit. with Drake? I got love for Drake, man. 
How about Lil Wayne? I, I work with Wayne. You know what I'm saying? But you know, Drake the hottest nigga in the game. Cause Drake is probably the biggest artist on the planet. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? And we came in at the same exact time. You know what I'm saying? So you it, always it, have to be someone what, what, like that. Huh? Always have to be For someone sure. like that. Drake, I like I I got this thing I always say, like Drake is like uh the per like everything he do is like, damn, like if you could if you could do a creator rapper <laughs> like on a video <laughs> game, that's Drake. He could say, he could rap. He know how to get with the bitches. He know how to get in the streets. Like Drake know what the fuck he doing, but that's a busy motherfucker for sure. I don't know if we gonna do no. We got one together. We got a platinum record together. But so what's know. up, man? You gonna you gonna take over? You gonna take you gonna take over the game, dude? That's what I want to know. Hey, listen. Am I gonna take over the oh, game? Oh yeah. No. What's up, nigga? <laughs> I don't. I, I hope so. It's um, your African brother over here, man. <laughs> oh, what's up, boy? What's <laughs> up? Damn, that was job racist. How I put my son my glasses up. Nah, my bad, fool. I just did it because I was like, let me. I, I, why would why would they can't come? Nah, but um, that's my nigga right there, man. He's been he been doing a lot of things for Africa as a whole and shit. Like that's that. why he's here, brother. Yeah, you know talk. He was like, man, I got this African nigga while I don't know nothing about him. Hey, can, can you come here real quick? Now we know everything. Give me something. Sure. Make this nigga, man. Make this nigga shut the fuck up. You like that, but damn, man. Nah, um, nah. I mean, it's just, it's, I'm just really, really, really uh. I ain't gonna hold you. I was a little like um, nervous, maybe a little bit. Oh, fuck, you nervous, bro. I was born in '84. Like you are, come on, man. Imagine being 11, mm -hmm. 12 years old when you nigga punch out, nigga. You know what I mean? You made me cry and punch out. You made me cry and Mike Tyson punch out, bro. That was. Wow. What do you mean? Everybody, 007 375 got any water? Got any water? 007. All you can, somebody, 007 373 call? 5963. Matter of fact, that need to be his next merch. Just with that number right there. Watch how fast it sell out. Listen, Just give me a rollie well, when it go listen, crazy. This is what I wanted to tell you. 007 373 5963, y'all. Hurry up. Mike this Tyson is Punch what out. I you wanted to tell you. I told you the NFT shit, man. I can't believe I got that much money. For the, I don't even know how I got that money. I didn't do shit. No, that's not true, man. That's all that hard work that you've done. That's I all. I know, but, look, but listen. No, 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 yeah, no, 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 no. It's, yeah, it's, it's, see, it's, I got you. It's guys. reparations. It's reparations. <laughs> yeah, it's reparations. Maybe it's reparations. Listen, every, listen, at the end of the game, listen. Oh, yeah. Even he gonna say, he worked for everything he got, but he got everything he worked for. Say that again. I'm a little, you know, I weird. said, I, I worked for everything I got, but I don't got everything I worked for. That's how you feel? Hell fucking yeah. Yeah. But, but a lot of niggas that came with you, that was running the race with you, that were in that same little of, of the same ilk, uh -huh. they not doing like you, Mike. Listen. They not, they not, they not doing like you. Listen, they're not miserable like me too. I mean I'm a monk that I have to succeed. How I you miserable? Succeed. How you miserable? Cause my mind don't stop. I constantly think of cause I'm succeeding. That's cause that's what that's what happens with geniuses. The niggas in the back of the short bus. That's what happens when we get older. We become geniuses, but we become tormented geniuses. And nobody has no fucking empathy for us. That's what happens, Mike. Listen, right. So would you would you would you be like, fuck it? Fuck all this shit. I'll be homeless on the street if my mind would slow down. No. Listen, no. No, no, listen. No. I've been homeless because of this shit. I love I, my, no, my mind now though. Now shit. though. Um, your, your mind don't stop because you're a media person. You're 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 you you're still boxing actively. You're doing you're doing movies. Your mind ain't gonna stop you. I don't know. Listen, my listen. Let me tell you something. I'm married right for like 13 years. Yeah. Right. And um. Dang, that's not proud. I'm at. I am. Listen, Good. right. So and for me, man. Drink my, champs. My Just drink wife, champs. My wife Robert. is not my fan. She's not my fan. So she's gonna call my shit. All right. And that's a life in itself. Right. For life, it's just a life in itself. So I'm at home. I'm I'm just a father at home, a husband at home. I'm no I'm no superstar at home. But then when you go out to work, yeah, you you, you him again. Yeah, but she spies with me too. <laughs> she makes. Well, that sure. makes me like maybe you just want to make her. You just want to make your family proud at this point. Well, listen, I do, but you know, um, my wife is my wife is not naive or anything. Yeah, you know, it's just that we have an understanding and we love each other. We have. If kids. I have a wife, I hope she's naive. No, you don't want no one that's naive. No, they can't get your back. That was a joke. I was trying Listen, to Listen, you're a king. And a lion's a king. A lion needs his woman to be vicious. That's, that's, a, decor. that's a decor you're talking about. What? 
What? The what were we just talking about? What? Oh, he hot too. Damn. <laughs> um, nah, something about lions and kings and then the core and then women. women. Well, yeah, uh, women. women, you know. Being they, married. Mar- that's marriage what they is do. A, marriage is a scary thing because you know what it was? When I was young, when I was just coming up, there were men, women that were married, like older women that was married, like that was trying to get at me. So what that teach me about marriage as a young, I'm like, oh shit, this is that shit that y'all do for show. But y'all gonna do what y'all wanna do? Why? Like, bruh, my first three tours, it was married women that was, you know, just promiscuous. A big game, right? No one have to tell you if it's wrong or right. Your conscience tell you it's wrong or right. Even though you did it and you felt good, you know if it was wrong or right. I'm not saying it was wrong, I'm not saying it was right. So you know if it's wrong or right. Yeah. Do we? No, we know. We know who we are. We know our conscience tells us that. It's a, it's a, yeah. Mike, Mike, what, what, uh, we got to run this shit up. We got to fucking... What, 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 advice, like we, what, what advice you, you got for Wale, uh, Mike? It was just, um, he's who he is. I have nothing to say. He's doing everything right. I'm just I'm very grateful that he came on the show. And um, he has a lot to give to the world. Yeah. That's my belief only. People could think of this shit. Can you, I think can you so. ask me the same question? No, that's cool. No, no, I want you to close it out for us, dude. No, can I want to give him. I want. <laughs> I want you to ask me the same question to, about All right. to him. Yeah. What do you, What advice would you give? This nigga the high. greatest. No, 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 no. This ain't no high shit. No, this ain't no. I, 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 I had the same. I had the same. I had the same. Jay. I ain't that high. I just think that, like I said before, like. You know, in Hollywood they call it rebranding or whatever the fuck. I don't I don't call it that. I just call it like you evolved. You was the baddest man on the planet to one like to the villain to uh you know, stepped away from a little bit and then like became an icon to kids now. The 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 the, the people that grew up in my era, the people that grew up in your era, and the people older. You've managed to do that and that's that's not a that's not easy, bro. Yeah, that looks good, but Chip Peep came on this, right? I have a guy I knew him ever since I was like 17 years old. Right. He, he's um he's pretty successful too. We right. were kids together. He's pretty successful too. So now he made a mistake um with some women. He's me too, but I can't talk to him. He's my childhood friend. I can't talk to him because he had some personal problem. I'm a bad guy if I talk to him, even though I didn't do nothing. If I talk to him, I'm a bad guy now. I can't talk to him. If I say something, I hang out, go to dinner with him, I'm me too. I don't understand that. Well, that's what my people No, I think that, me. I think, oh, is, is, is that, is that, that's not illegal. Like you saying, no, you saying, you saying that, that, nah, you can. You can talk uh, to whoever you want to. You but, can talk to whoever, but, but you also, you can also share your evolution with these niggas too, though. Yeah, no, but listen, this is my friend. This ain't no, this No, I know, but friend. you can still, but you, 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 been, no you been, that, you, been, no, but you been in that, you been in that space, though. You been in that space. You been in that space where, you know, the world on your back. You got a lot to offer with niggas like that too, though. Right? No, I don't know. I, used to, I don't understand that. I don't understand how everybody's scared to go near somebody because they, they're quote, quote, dirty or something. When are we going to be men? We don't even follow the, um, the Constitution. We're scared somebody's going to not work with us no more because we're talking to somebody they don't like. How does that world exist? Well, I that's, think that's, that's communism. Cancel, I, think, I think cancel that's culture. That's communism. Right? Can we do cancel culture or no? Yeah, yeah, thumbs up or thumbs down? Cool. Cancel culture is it is it's, it's a thing. It's it, it's it's only real to some people. It's not real. Yeah, but no, what is what like what does cancel culture even mean though? Cancel culture. Uh, uh, cancel yeah. culture. What does that mean? I mean it, it means shit, like it's right? over with. It's over with for you. You know what I'm saying? We saw everybody say Kanye. Da, 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 da. Then I saw a stadium full of motherfuckers watch them levitate out of, of an uh, arena. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's just the same wrong motherfucker. That so it ain't what what is like? You know what I'm saying? Like Kanye. Yeah, Kanye, 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 Kanye levitated. levitated? Yeah, you ain't seen I that? I never knew that. No. Did you oh, know shit, that, Mike? Well, no, Straight down to man. Hey, let's if check that to. shit out. <laughs> Lav- levitating fucking Kanye. La- laxating? No, Lav- levitating out of uh, the band's arena. Lav- I can't say levitating. No, the nigga, the nigga really like, like everybody was trying to fake cancel him. What I'm saying is, you stand by who you stand by, you know? But I, my thing is, just be ready to explain it when it's time, to, when it's go time. Yeah. That's it. That's it. Because they're going, they're going to try to associate. That's, that's how they like to cook it up. Stand by how you want to stand by. Hey, Khan, you still by somebody, everybody, you know? You just like. But just be ready for the, be ready what come with it. That's all it is. Oh, this is what? This is when? friends, nigga. This friends. You got to get him on the damn show. When that nigga was young boy. <laughs> oh, yeah. I knew you was in the mix, bro. I ain't know you was in the mix like that. He's 
Crown, talking about Crown Royal, brother. You remember when I came to your crib and I played you P.Y.T., you was like, this Black is going to be a Roy, hit. Black Royal, baby. I played that, that P.Y.T. joint, they kind of like, it's going to be a hit. And that motherfucker went platinum. That nigga know his shit now. He know his shit. He's, um, he's a builder. He's a super builder. I know. Mega, I've been trying. I've been trying. He make mega, mega. I've been trying to tap in with him, but he's just a busy guy. I don't know. I came to pick his brain. Maybe Akon don't like me. Anything, huh? Maybe Akon don't like me, Mike Tyson. Only you don't like you because he loves nah, everybody. Nah, what if Akon don't like me, Mike Tyson? He loves you. He loves nah, everybody. I'm That's fine. why he's built. I'm fine. I'm fine. That's my man for years. Not as long as you though. That's Shout out to Boo too. That's my nigga too. What's that, Kanye? Kanye That's a Kanye levitating. Like, like, that's yeah. ain't levitating anything. Pulled. No. <laughs> oh, you thought Levitate. I thought he, you thought I said he was like really levitating? Yeah. yeah. This nigga ain't David Blaine, motherfucker. Like he he makes he raps. He don't do magic now. Yeah. Of course he. Y'all nah. Go ahead. I mean I could. I mean. Yeah, you ain't really think I thought he was levitating. It's not just me. Him did, too. did you like his music yeah. that much? I thought that dude was walking on water. He thought he was. Now they trolling me right now. You know now. what I'm saying? Nobody trolling. Mike me. might be. Nah, Mike might think so. Because we, the way we smoke, no, the Mike Tyson strand have you thinking Kanye really levitated? But you, you nigga, nah, fuck that. Me and Mike could be high. You gotta be like, you know, those little strings, right? Like, I, I thought we all knew that, but it's cool. The nigga to, levitated. You still, you do the toad, brother. What? Yeah, you, yeah, toad. you you gonna you gonna need the toad. I, I think I hey, think listen, you're right. Hey, put some DMT the to toad? toad on that for you can be educated. Hey, come what they about to tell me, bro? We trying to enlighten you with no, God. We, yeah. This, nah, this, nah, this, nah, this, nah, 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 nah. What's going on right now? Some of this toad. This, this is this is what gave Mike a whole new perspective, dude. Listen, nigga, I got many of toad. Fucking that's why the toad is right toad. there. Yeah. And see, look at this, look at see that. Take the toad. National yeah, football team. The, the Indians. The um. Oh God, shamans! I'm making a show being a shaman. I'm going all over the world trying the indigenous yeah, medicine. Oh, you fuck with the shamans? Have you yeah. ever done shrooms? I, wasn't that shrooms out yesterday? To, Micro to or today, macro? Bro. No, I do the candy bars. Yeah, because the, it tastes so fucking bad. The one from the dirt, you know. Yeah, you got, you got yeah. I've had my, I've had Molly that tastes worse. So nigga. The what? Fuck? What'd you have, Molly? I've had no. I've had no. I don't currently, nigga. Like, don't try to use this. It's all good, no, man. No, I know. I know. It's niggas be talking good. about niggas be talking about they <laughs> they they, they ex escapades on here. Well, that's what I'm in right now. I see the yeah. shamans and shit, putting people to sleep and letting them see God. So isn't there like that's sh shaman is like shrooms and shit, right? Or, or something else? Oh, no, psychedelics. You got so much stuff. You got the scorpion. You got the toad. You got the white. Um, what the fuck is the toad, bro? That's what it is right there. No, but what is what is it though? Like what is is it? That's the shit. It really gets you high. Oh, it doesn't get you high. High is the understatement. It takes you to the divine level of life. It's called the God monocle. It's called the O cup it, in DC. It, no, oh, that shit called the O cup. Yeah. I'm Look, not that's that the toe right there, Wale. Nah, See that, that toe right there, that Wale. Shit about to give me All nails. that red shit got yeah, some no, serious fluid in it. If you, if you about that it. life, then you'll, you'll lick that thing. Nah, I'm not. Right, I'm dude. not about that life, and I will not be licking <laughs> that thing. Listen, can I tell you something? Can I tell you something? Let me tell you this, right? Can I tell you this? Yeah. You like that, you be bigger than Dre. Nah. I don't want I don't Drake. want that. That shit look like that, man. No. I, feel, I feel like he's, I'll, he's I'll be like, hey, I'm going to wake up out. like 7'5 with like two-inch arms. Listen, I came here shit. 100 pounds overweight. This nigga gave me the toad. I don't lost 100 pounds, <laughs> haven't been high in five years, and then won a whole bunch of Oh, you been high? <laughs> but not that high. No, no, I've been, I've been, I've been. Just, elevated. Oh, yes, I've been very elevated. Elevated, elevated, elevated at all times. Yeah, very so elevated. I'm elite. No, listen, nigga, I'm 55 years old. I'm still, I'm breaking records. I mean, look at them pay per view. So, when the last 55. time you had the toe? Um, last week. So, you just be like, yo, toe, what you doing? I'm trying, I want you to come over and let me no, just the lick the shaman comes let me over. Just lick the toe. The shaman over. comes over with the, with the, listen, you take the toe, see the little bumps on the toe? You pierce the, the pus out in the window and the What glass. does it feel like? When you smoke it. Do you lick it or smoke? Like, what's smoke going on? It. I smoke it. I never licked that nasty motherfucker. Oh, okay. <laughs> His whole dynamic to the toad. It was like, yeah, yeah, that, that beautiful toad. You just get it over. You just call it over. Now it's like, oh, you nasty <laughs> you bitch. I would never Mike, touch Mike, that guy. But what if it gets you better high? Would, would you lick no, it? No, listen. What does I, it feel like? It feels like God. The, whatever you know of God, it feels like. 
Whatever you think God could be. Um, my like. boy, Neil Brennan, right? He was talking about, was it Ayahuasca? Ayahuasca. I, ayahuasca. I did that. That's not me. But it's good stuff for some people. But it's not me. <laughs> that's, that's what I'm about right there. Honestly, well, like, I, I think you got to be ready to do this stuff, though. Like, it's not nah, like, nah. you know what I'm saying? Like, there has to be something that really, nah, I gotta, like, you got to gotta... have a purpose. And when you nah, do it, you I can't like, fight no, it. Battle Battle have a purpose. is my favorite he video game. And I haven't beat it yet. When I beat Battletoads in real life, I can do the, I can battle the Toad. No, After you, I beat Battletoads on you can't uh, beat Xbox, this shit, I will nigga. battle you the actual Toads. You cannot beat that. It's yeah, just, but yeah, that's what I'm saying. I got to crawl before I walk is basically what I'm saying. No, like... Because it, I can't... It's crazy, Mike. It's crazy to try to explain. You know what I'm saying? I think they did that on like Family Guy or something like that. No, they didn't fight me. got to know about this shit. No, somebody did a Lick the Toad episode of something. It was a cartoon. That's all I remember. I don't know no licking Toad, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, you know, you know, no, exactly. <laughs> hey, fool. <laughs> hey, give me like two of them Toads on my next rider. I'm gonna come out with the toes. I'm gonna give me uh, an iced out toad. Then my hype man gonna be a shaman. And the whole show, we just gonna be like, vibes. Smoke. Nah, we just gonna nod and just oh, be like, vibes, man. <laughs> Is everybody vibing? And we just gonna pass around the toad to that bitch look like a, like a ninja turtle. It's got nothing left. No, none of that color's left. <laughs> cool. Can you help me get one of them toads? <laughs> Yeah, good man. Oh, excuse me, Mexican. Spanking him. But I ain't smoking no more either. I mean, it's <laughs> really, really tough stuff. Yeah, you gotta go to Mexico. How long did, how long did, uh, did that last? 20 minutes. How, but, do you, how do you turn it from saliva to. But listen, uh, it, goes smoke. On, it goes to the, on the mirror and it gets hard. And then when you get it hard, then you sand it up like sand and you smoke it. Put it in a pipe and smoke it. And your life will change. And you're hard. All, this, all that shit I've been through, how did I shit. come here, get this money, and shit, how the fuck I'm doing, and then I just get $800,000 and shit. <laughs> I say, hey, the son ain't right the toad. here. The key I is said, the fucking toad. Yeah, Mike, I you said, deserve it. Right. No, Mike, I said, you're no, wrong, no, no, Mike. No, 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 no. That's why I said Mike, you deserve, dude, you deserve I just think add 10 more zeros to that. You act like, you, 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 you sometimes, know do you feel saying? like you're not worthy of all this praise and stuff? No, yes, I know that, um... Yes, this prayers is just, I mean, it's nobody. God made me as a simple no, person. No, you gifted, bro. You gifted. That's nah. what it is. Like, not even though, like, nigga, like, also, you just, you was gifted as a child. You met the right people. You you, you changed your life. You could have just been somebody. Yeah, but I don't take myself that serious like I no, used to. No, I'm not taking it serious. <laughs> I'm telling you, like, what happened. I'm not, like, sugarcoating it. Yeah. Hey, man, you, you fucking prayed on the lucky star. No, nah, nigga, you did that. Nigga, like, the fuck? He had a Nintendo game, Glass Joe, nigga. Yeah, but listen, right? Glass Joe, nigga. You know, but dig, right? Can you imagine hearing that all day? Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I get like that too. Can when you imagine hearing that all day? You the man, you the man. Da, 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 da. You know what I mean? Yeah. No, no I, I, I feel him on that. I was with uh, Jack Harlow, right? Yeah, I'm he with He came to the studio. Mm -hmm. Jack was like, uh, he was like, man, you the go, da, da, da. My reflexes. I wasn't even trying to be. I was like, yeah, 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 right, whatever. I couldn't even embrace the the love he was giving me because yeah. I'm so jaded by certain things in my industry. So I, I know right. what you're saying. It's God, like God to humble you. Yeah, no, nah, for sure, for sure. Shit. Even your praises, yeah. you'd be like, yeah, I, right, right, I yeah, humble you. I don't fuck yeah, around. You almost numb. You almost numb to the praises. Many times, I know. Yeah, yeah. Yep. all the glory goes to him. All the nobody, glory. All the glory. Can you, can you talk about one of the humble humble experiences, Mike? Yes, being nobody. Yeah. Like, Can you imagine that? Like, that? like feeling being that? everybody and not being when nobody. What was that though? Huh? When was that? In my mind. Oh yeah. That's the yeah. You know what I mean? That's the mental. And in your mind, everything that goes on out here is right in here. If yeah. you feel like you sometimes you feel like you're nobody, or that's just before. Well, I know I'm nobody, but I guess um I know like that we have that expiration date. I'll be dead and it's just I'm gone. I just I just I I I wouldn't be able to confidently ride home without like I gotta refute that, bro. No, that you don't you're not you're not, me, not like what do you mean talk nobody, bro? No, it talk to me though. You Mike Tyson, bro. Yeah. No, but I, I think what I am around Mike a lot, bro. And he he literally I I can see where he's coming from. You know what I mean? Like he because he's an icon dude, he gets it a lot more than any of us. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like it's always people. That's why every time I'm with Mike, I'm always like talking about fighting. You know what I mean? I wanna right. know your thoughts on Holyfield versus Vito or you know. You are Evolving to what way more than that? You a you a hood nigga, you a street nigga yeah. that knows how to talk to a nigga to like, like about Nietzsche, like to, knows how to talk philosophy with niggas. 
Like you gonna be a you gonna be one of the big people that yeah, bridge the, you that gonna bridge too. the gap. You gonna bridge the gap. I can do that too, but also I could suffer about when I hurt somebody before. If I beat somebody out of this one, I didn't have to. Just didn't treat somebody with respect. Right, right. So I got that haunting me too. That right. that oversees all that greatness shit. Right. My my guiltness and my my. Everybody got yeah. shame, bro. Everybody got some things. Everybody, no matter what, no matter what your field is, everybody got some things like they or decisions they. Then you know they wish they didn't make. You know what I'm saying? I don't know yours, and then this that's a, that's probably something some for some another time. But I'm just saying, everybody, nobody perfect, bro. No, nobody's perfect, but some. I just think that you live with a lot of like a guilt, a lot yeah. of like a lot of guilt, and, and it's unnecessary. And you have to be able to accept the flowers. You have to because, bro, we losing we losing legends. We ain't losing you no time soon. I respect my inventory more than anything. So when I go back and inventory. check my, my inventory, how was I today? That I should treat everybody yeah. with respect. And if I and if I pass that, I'm I'm good today. Yeah, my, but if my... I start thinking about fuck, I call that nigga a nigga. If so I said fuck that bitch, not even saying it, but in my mind thinking it, and I didn't pass today. Bro, <laughs> I've done so much shit too, bro. I call Complex Magazine, bro. I, they didn't put my one of my albums in like 2012 in the top like 20 or top 50. And my out, the shit went like it shit went. The numbers were great and the reception was great. And they didn't put it. I called them. I called the building, threatened everybody there. Really was going kind of coming up there on that time until niggas like was like, "Yo, bro, what are you doing? This is a magazine." You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, like sometimes, like sometimes we can really just forget all we did. And 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 you say you call this nigga that, call that nigga that, call that nigga that. Nigga, fuck that. Nigga, you evolved. Nigga, you you another level of a person right now. But you gotta do that inventory. You can't say fuck that without doing the inventory. How do you even remember? How do you don't... even remember? How huh? do you even remember what we did? We, nigga, we might have been drunk, whatever. Huh? Listen, your conscience <laughs> don't lie to you. You know what you did, even when you didn't do it. You know something went not yeah. right. Touche. Yeah, you, yeah, you're right, Mike. It's like I learned. I learned so much from you, Mike. And it, and it all goes back to the <laughs> basics of thought, the basics of inner peace, the basic of love. You know what I'm saying? Like. It's so much. It's so much. It's so simple if you really deep down look it at really it. Really is, but we all have. Sometimes I'm a selfish. How can I not be selfish, motherfucker? I always hear that. But bullshit. as long as, but don't you accept it, Mike? Don't uh, you? Don't you recognize and accept when you are selfish? You're not selfish all the time. No, listen. Um, I don't try to accept it. I try to evacuate it. No, get it away from me. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Look. Buying a car, buying a house for me, don't do it no more. It doesn't move me no more. Yeah, you know, buying, you've been doing buying something for you've been someone doing else. For, you've been doing that for years. Good, you know. Yeah, your your motors are now in a different perspective yeah. now. Your motors are different now, Mike. Yeah. When, when he's talking about evolve, when did, when did you feel like the faces that you've evolved in your career, um, or, 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 or in your or in your thought process? So I did the toad. The toe, the toe did everything. As soon as I did the toe, they about to have toes on stock X now. The toe was just telling me conquer the world, crush the world. They're like, they're gonna be like, they're gonna be like six toes on stock X. I don't know that stock shit. X. The toe's telling me this shit. And listen, it's telling me this shit. I got this fucking show. I got this fucking big marijuana company. And listen, right? That's the toe. I'm not smart enough to navigate this shit, nigga. Nigga, you talking about Nietzsche and you saying words that I don't know. Me, nigga. I don't know. And I know. bro, you smart. Don't like no. the self-deprecating thing. Listen, I get it though. No, I get it though no. because you've been tough. I know who I am. I know who I am. No, bro. you're known as a tough person. No, you I just, know who I no, am. Well, well, no, we're agreeing this guy. If you don't agree, we can fight. We can fight in a in the ring or in the parking lot. Let's 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 run it back, dude. There, there is a ring here, but we're gonna cut it, man. Close it, close it out for us, bro. What message you got? Why from the fan? fuck is Mike Tyson punch out so hard? Hey, brother, I never played it a day in my life. Never, no, no. I think I've seen some on YouTube. You playing that joint? No, I was just doing it for the television. I never in my life played nah, it. And that is your show. Out. I'm your co-host, Triple C, aka Henry. Oh, that's like, oh, that's a hurry up. That's not <laughs> Mike. Like I told you, smoking. <laughs> Put the put the statue outside. And the, my brother Wale. The, put the statue outside the hospital and the special ed programs for me and Mike and whoever was like us growing up. Oh, That's it. We out.